Come on, fam. It's your sister Michelle here doing another video from my living room, not my bedroom. I hope you all are doing good on your journey. I love you all so much. You know how I feel about you. Um, just doing another quick check-in and uh, encouraging words to let you know, first of all, you're amazing. You're wonderful. You're sexy. You're strong. You're all the brilliant things that I think you are. And I know that you are. I absolutely know that you are. And I wish you love and light on your beautiful journey because you deserve it and you know who you are. You're worthy of all the blessings coming your way. And I think that's what this video is really about. About the fact that the narcissist knew supply. Now, you know what? Before I get ahead of myself, drop down and subscribe, like, do whatever you need to do. I would highly appreciate it. I'm getting ahead of myself. But anyway, back to what I was talking about, right? Yeah, you such a little ponytail, girl. Yes. Yes, I think I'm Pippi Longstockings. Miss Pippi. <laughs> you know, I'll be talking shit. But anyway. YouTube don't block me. Listen, this video is about how the narcissist knew supply. When you're going through it, and I made a statement to the same person I was talking about in the other video. So funny how things turn around. It's so funny how life and situations will turn in your favor. When you know you've been the best that you can be. But anyway, back to topic. And don't forget that. Please don't forget that. When you give out good, you get good. And I'm wanting nothing but good for y'all. But listen, the new supply... When they come into the situation with the narcissist, whether they know about you or they don't know about you, right? They are really coming in as an anchor to show you something that you didn't know. Now, listen to me when I say that. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense to you, but I'm going to break it down. When people like that come into your life when you're dealing with a narcissist and they get a new supply, whether they discard you for the new supply, a lot of times that's what happens, or you discard them and you find out they got somebody the next 24 hours. You know how they do. They, they quick to the draw. Now they quick to the draw. Let's see, sister. You find out that they're on to someone else and it confuses you and you don't understand. And you don't, maybe you don't even know the new supply. And you're trying to figure out what this person has maybe that you don't have. Or what did they see in them that they didn't see in you. Or whatever the case may be. Which we know it's not about that. They never see nothing greater in anyone else unless it's about self. You could be more prettier. You can have more money. You can have... But anything that's going to be beneficial beneficial is where they're running to. They never look at it like, okay, the last person I was with was a good mother, a good person, a good parent, good friend, whatever. I think, and the word is think, because they always fool themselves, this new person is going to offer me more than that. So we already know that. We've already established that. They're always going to go with what they think they can gain with. But anyway, what we have to understand and we know is... We gain something from that with the new supply. The new supply comes around, along a lot of times to teach you something. Now, we ain't going to give them too much credit, especially if they do it about you. Rest in peace. But I'm saying, even those people, they're put into the position to teach you something. Yes, they are. They're in the position to show you exactly the kind of individual you were dealing with. They're in the position to show you what you're not even going to miss. Does it make sense? They're in a position to show you that if you're willing to go do this and that and the other with this new person after I gave you my all, I know for sure you'll do this to the next person. But the new supply ushers in all those ways of thinking. Does it make sense to you? It ushers in. The new supply can usher in a way of saying, oh, my God, you know what? Better you than me. <laughs> Drinks on me because I already know what you're going to go through. And it sometimes will open up your eyes in different places that your eyes were closed at. Yeah, because even after you've been discarded or you discard them, you'll start hearing about the relationship. If you don't, I understand that too. But if you do, you'll end up hearing from the, that side of the relationship now with the new supply. All the abusive things that you tolerated. And how it might look crazy when it's on the outside looking in. You can look at the new supply and you'll be thinking to yourself, I know I've been through this. So I can't judge it, right? But now I know how I was looking. And now I can check myself. You see what I'm saying? I know all the things I try to do to make you happy was never enough. And you see a new supply doing just that and you see it's still never enough. It gives you confirmation that all along you was on point. You understand what I'm saying? Listen to your sister. Listen to your sister. I know what I'm talking about. The new supply sometimes comes into the picture to show you a bigger picture about yourself. I know it sounds crazy. Because you, you know what? Guess what? You know, when my ex when he first got the new supply, I told you she knew about me. When I told her about me, she knew she didn't care. She went on or whatever. And it was the hardest moments of my life. You know, I never hid that from any of you. And I just felt at the time she was winning because I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what it was, fam. I just thought this 
man went on with someone else and I wasn't good enough. Not knowing I was with a narcissistic piece of dirt. And I said it, YouTube don't block me. But in the end of the day, now looking at it, even though me and her ain't cool, we'll never be cool. And I ain't going to lie to you, we'll never be cool because of how it was done. But I can honestly look back and say, wow. You came in to show me a lot about even myself. You came in to take away this grind from me because guess what? I would have never been fully blessed the way I need to be blessed if this person would have stayed around. You really did me a favor. You really came in and took away something that was blocking everything that was supposed to come my way. And then also, like I said, you can look at the new relationship if you're privy to see it or you hear things like I can hear things like I'm not around it, but I do hear things. And you can sit back and say, wow. I remember that when that was me. Now I see how it might have looked. Now I see how I might have been manipulated, right? Or how I could have easily fell into that trap by looking at the new supply because you're no longer in the moment with them. Because you know what I'm saying? You can never see things as clear as you can when you ain't, you ain't in it. Just like, for instance, you, people can easily, including myself, give people sound advice from the outside looking in. When you're on the outside looking in, the fucking glass is clear. But when you're inside of it, Shit's so smoky you can't even see out of it. Am I lying? And the new supply would come in to clear the smoke off the glass. You you can see everything you need to see about the narcissist, about the new supply, what they're going to go through, and definitely about yourself. So you don't have to ever go through that and be put, put in a place of a foggy, glassed up place again. I know it's hard to understand that because it was really hard for me. And I'm going to be honest, it took me a long time because for a long time I was bitter. I was mean. I was hateful. Yes, I was because I didn't know. And I just felt some kind of way. Don't fault the system. I'm just keeping it real. But I'm just saying, now looking back on it now, she came in to show me something. She came in and broke a curse. That's the thing you have to understand. She came in and broke the curse that set me free. You understand me? Yeah, it's real. Yeah, it's rough. But the bigger picture is this. And I would never tell you wrong because I love you. People come in and break your curse. So you can go on to something bigger and greater and grander. You understand me? So the new supply, give them a little bit of thanks for that. And I do mean a little bit. I mean like this. <laughs> I mean like this. Because trust me when I tell you, they came into the situation with the narcissist, even though you don't understand it. They came in to shine light on a lot of shit that we was in the dark and didn't see. I love you so much. Keep your head up. You're wonderful. Everybody goes through stuff every now and then. But guess what? I told you before, we might fall down, but we get back up. We're going to always get back up. The only person who can't get back up is a narcissist. One-legged pirate, and I said it. No good for nothing, bastards.